walking in the store for so long and I do not know what to get. And I have five wines and I need to get one more to get the 10% off. Ah, YOLO, let's do it. Hi, it's Vivian the Psalm next door. Today we're doing a Trader Joe's wine review, which was very requested. As you can see, it's really busy over here. We got a wide variety, everything from $6 to $17. So I'm gonna taste these and let you know what I think about them. I am a huge fan of Trader Joe's. I go there all the time. And I, you know, will shop for some wines there, especially since they have that really great like buy six, get 10% off. So the first wine we're gonna start off with, most of these I have not tried, but this one I have, and I think it's a tried and true, and I'll just keep it in my fridge all the time. It's this Espiral Vino Verde, and it's this Portuguese white wine. Every summer I see this, and it's, it's just like a Trader Joe's staple at this point. You know it's good because it keeps on coming back. Honestly, Vino Verde is such a good bargain wine. It's so tasty, so like refreshing, easy to drink. Let me give you the breakdown of Vino Verde. So Vino Verde is a region in Northwest Portugal. And actually Vino Verde can be a red, it could be a rosé, it could be a white. So not all Vino Verdes are white, but if it is white, it's, usually not that alcoholic. This one's only 9% alcohol and it's slightly fizzy, which is like so perfect for the pool, so tasty. It's only $6. The price keeps on going up, so Trader Joe's, you need to stop it right here, okay? Super affordable, super tasty. The second wine that I got was a Sauvignon Blanc from Marlboro, New Zealand. It is called Tua Tea. Marlboro is very famous for Sauvignon Blanc. It just produces like a very distinct flavor, has lots of like tropical fruit, passion fruit, melon, floral, and tropical. It smells great. It's just very bright and it's also just like a very easy drinking wine. But unlike the Vino Verde, which was 9%, this is like 13%. So. It's a, uh, you know, it'll get you. No, but I think this is super tasty. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Very pleasant to drink. Just so refreshing. And I think it would go, like you can drink it by itself. Avi. Think of things that go well with limes. Ooh, Mexican food. Did you see how that, did you see how those dots connected? Indonesian food in here. That's some Malaysian food. Ooh, ceviche. Ceviche and this wine. Bomb. Bomb diggity dong. Bomb diggity. I don't know, how does that go? Oh my goodness. You see what I was like telling you that that 13%, it sneaks up on you. You're like, oh, it's a white wine. And then boom, you're like, what am I saying? What am I doing? What did I just say? The next wine I got is a curveball. So this one is from Chile, which is unique, not unique, but I was just like, ooh, that's something different because I've, I've done a lot of French rosés. But I was like, let's change it up. Let's go to South America. So this is a Loma Negra Chile 2020 rosé from the, the DO, which is like AVA kind of DOC. It's called Valley Central. Valley Central is the wine region right near Santiago, which is the capital of Chile. I've been around there, which is awesome. It's so pretty because you can like see the Andes in the background and you're like, whoa, it's super cool. Chile is very well known for Cabernet Sauvignon. That is their baby. So this rosé is 60% Cabernet Sauvignon, 40% Merlot. I, to be honest, I've never had that many Cabernet based rosés. On the nose, it's like very like bell peppery, which is not a surprise because Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot kind of give off like bell pepper flavors. You get some cherries. It's definitely a rounder flavor. So if you don't like too much acid, it's dry for sure. 
but it doesn't have that much acid. This is only 12.5% alcohol, so it's not like too alcoholic. I think with food, it would be better, but honestly, probably not my favorite rosé. Uh, I don't know about this one. Okay, we are moving on to the reds. The fourth wine that we're doing is a Trader Joe's Growers Reserve Zinfandel from Paso Robles 2019. Growers Reserve. Basically, that means that it's made with organically grown grapes. What are my thoughts on organically grown grapes? I mean, I think it's good. I, I, I prefer less chemicals, but I think it's a certification. It's a money thing. It's a advertising ploy sometimes, and maybe producers do their best, but they don't have the money to get that certification. That's like, oh my, my, that's my two cents. Just like be wary. That doesn't mean that like the, the wine is better. Let's just debunk that. Organic grapes do not mean that the wine is better. So Paso Robles is, it's Central Coast, halfway between San Francisco and LA. It's coming up, it's an up and coming region, which is why it's not that expensive. On the nose, it's like strawberries. I'm getting strawberry jam vibes, like so hardcore in this wine. And, and on the taste, you could literally eat this with toast. It's drinkable, not my favorite Zinfandel though. I don't think I'm gonna get this again. I would say pass. Wine number five is Ribera del Duero Condado de Oriza Reserva 2015. So price of this, this is the, the, my most expensive wine at $16.99. I'm a very big fan of Spanish Reds. Why? Because they are a bargain for the quality. Just like historically, they age them for you. For instance, Reserva, it needs to be aged three years. And of those three years, one year being in oak. The grape is a clone of Tempranillo called Tinto Fino, which means fine wine. Yeah. And this is literally the opposite of that Zinfandel that we drank. This wine is like earthy, spice, smokiness, plums, cherries. Typically these wines go for like $30. So, you know, $17, that's kind of a bargain. Hopefully, if it's good. If it's good, it's a bargain. Ooh, I'm excited to have this with like my Spanish cheese. I'm gonna make some paella. This is gonna go so well. I approve. It's a winner. It's a winner, winner chicken dinner. Last wine is the Platinum Reserve Meritage Rutherford 2018. Rutherford is a Valley AVA in Napa Valley. So that's kind of why the price is a little bit higher. Meritage, so that is a Bordeaux blend. There are certain grapes that are allowed to be in a Bordeaux blend. This is another heavy hitter, 14.5%. It is inky, my friends, it is inky. So it has like cherries, plums, maybe some mocha a little bit in there. It's, it's very typical Napa cab on the nose. Vanilla has that oak in it. And it's very smooth. It is a drink right now wine. Is it noteworthy? Does it change how I see the world and wine? No. Is it something that no one would complain about because you brought it? Absolutely. So I think it is okay. It is okay, especially for that price. Why did I pour that? I did not need more. Why did I do that? Winner of the day though. Okay, price-wise, it's the Vino Verde. Second place, that Sauvignon Blanc. And I really do like the Spanish Red, so good. It's a little bit higher in price. This is the most expensive one I got, but it's worth it, y'all. It is worth it. So thank you for joining me on this Trader Joe's review. Let me know what you think. I I always love going to Trader Joe's. I love to see what they have. They, they do a very good job rotating and I feel like it's very regional. I hope this helps you with the next time you go to Trader Joe's. 
please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Please hit the thumbs up button for more wine content and just to see me just the one me. And cheers, and I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.